Adam Hills, Improvisation, and Thank God You're Here. Let's check it out. as host of the very popular music quiz show Spicks and Specs. He's also performed his stand-up comedy shows all around the world and we're very excited to have him here with us tonight. It's Adam Hughes! Adam Hughes! Hughes. Oh, that is a very baby face, Adam Hills. Now, I, I obviously haven't seen Spicks and Specs. I, I've heard it a lot. Um, but obviously, I know had Adam Hills from The Last Leg, which is the show he does, Channel 4, Channel 4 Weekly. It's on quite often. Um, but he's a very, very funny comedian. He's a very friendly comedian. That's that's what I think I get most from Adam Hills. He's a very friendly person. Let's see if he'll be a bit more brutal in this. It's a warm, warm welcome for you. Can I call you Ken? <laughs> I think it's probably appropriate. With a hard hat. With a hard hat. With your name on it in case you lose it. Excellent. Well, I did wonder if I had someone else's hat and I went, no, that says Ken, that says Ken. <laughs> I'm Ken. I reckon if Barbie's behind there, we're all set. <laughs> there is the door, my friend. Thank Adam Hill, shake my hand. Good luck. First time through. See you on the other side. OK. <sighs> yeah, mate, uh, thank God you're here. Some He's on Have You Been Paying Attention? Some of our investors want a bit of an update on the project. Well, uh, Ken and the rest of us are delighted to have the opportunity to speak with all the investors about the project, clear up any concerns and, uh, well, Ken, uh, anything else you want to achieve tonight? I'd like you all to smile. <laughs> When we brought you all here a little over two years ago, Ken made a promise to each and every one of you. What was that promise, Ken? That promise was that your hair would grow back. (laughs) (laughs) And that you would be part of Australia's most exciting residential development, the most exciting development this decade. Now, we all know that there are plenty of apartment blocks out there, but Vista Towers has something that no other residential development has. Ken? (laughs) This bit. And Ken, an uncompromising commitment to quality. 18 levels of luxury apartment living, and on the 19th floor, <laughs> that's where we've put the brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Australia's first seven star penthouse apartment. I've got an issue straight away. Um, in a lot of the other ones, whether it was the Julian Morris, the Ross Noble ones, the, the other guys acting in the scene reacted to the the comedians, um, their improv. But Adam Hills is getting absolutely nothing back at all uh, from any of them. Uh, it's It almost feels a little bit awkward. Like, yes, I'm finding it funny, but I don't expect them to laugh. What I'm expecting them to do is to react to what he's saying, you know, but then they're not at all. Mm. Yeah, or as I call it, the brothel. <laughs> and I know what you're all thinking. Seven stars, it only goes up to six. Tell them how we got the extra star, Ken. We nailed one on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's been over a year and nothing has been built yet. Why the delay? Hey, 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 back off, mister. Nothing's been built yet. We've made this model. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've got to say, you're definitely wrong about the nothing built thing. I mean, in fact, Ken, if we went down to the construction site right now, what would we see? Oh, a lot of blokes reading porn. <laughs> uh, and working really, really hard on Vista Towers. You've had our money for two years. Oh, yeah. What have you done with it? <laughs> oh, the horses I've backed. <laughs> Look, we acknowledge there have been some unfortunate delays, but there is a very good reason why this hasn't been built, isn't there, Ken? Do you know how hard it is to find people that tiny? (laughs) What about about the the special features? Uh, uh, Will there still be uh, 24-hour security? Always with the features with you. (laughs) Features, 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 that's all you want. You've even got it written on your hand. Look at you. (laughs) Look at you, you've got features written on your hand. (laughs) He's broken him, he's broken him. Oh, that's brilliant. He's broken him. He has got a smile. He's noticed that he was reading on his hand. Oh, Adam Hills, you bloody legend. 
Oh, what a ripper. Could you not even... <laughs> no one else broke character. <laughs> How concerned are you really about features when you can't even remember? I, that's <laughs> why you're going to I can remember. I just that I wanted to make the point because it really means a lot to me, this feature. Well, I, we understand that these guys are upset, but it's just like you always say. Yep. Investing in property is a little bit like growing tomatoes <laughs> in the Algarve. <laughs> you, no one knows what it means. <laughs> But if I say it loudly enough, you might just buy it. Yes. <laughs> and, and look, we're very pleased to say that Ken has some very exciting news for everyone who wants to live in Vista Towers. Ken? Yeah. A lap dance. <laughs> Come on, it's you first, big oh boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, was that Tom Gleisner as well on the buzzer? I think it was. Get over here. What? You obviously had it in for our mate here. Which, uh, fantastic, mate. How did it feel for you first time? We'd like to ask our first time. I've got to say, I actually got a little bit too into that and started getting really intimidated and thinking, oh, my God, these guys are right. This building's terrible. <laughs> I loved every minute, Tom. Oh, fab. Adam, I think that's my favourite opening line of all time. That you're asked, what do we hope to achieve tonight? I'd like you all to smile. <laughs> <laughs> and just to clarify, we don't really believe that construction workers all sit around all day reading porn, do we? Oh, no, if there are any construction workers out there, I'm sure you do a lot more uh, than just read porn. <laughs> <laughs> and occasionally you watch it on video. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm sorry to have gone back over. What is growing tomatoes in the Algarve? I've got an. This is just for my own interest. Oh, it's an old uh, construction uh, saying. <laughs> <laughs> Say it all the, all the time when I was an apprentice. Uh, what's, I'd, I'd look at the older guys. What are we doing here? Ah, oh, Adam, it's like growing tomatoes on the Algarve. <laughs> I never knew what it meant, but it made me feel better. It made us, <laughs> makes us all feel better. Adam, you have my building approval anytime. Well done to you. Well, as I said, Adam Hills is just such a nice guy. He's just a decent bloke. And that comes across in his comedy. It even came across in this improvisation. I said, I, I feel let down by the other actors. Obviously, ignore the fact that he broke someone. Um, but they just didn't respond to anything he said. And... That is what improv is. And I understand you've got the other the other actors who have to sort of stick to a script because they're steering Adam into things. But some reaction to his comments, like when he says about a brothel and they completely went past it and said about apartments. I'm like, well, what is the point of him being there if you're not going to at all react to it? She is very needy today. So... Adam Hills, he is brilliant. I love that he managed to crack the man, um, but disappointed by the other actors. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.